Systemic racism is a set of racialized norms that have been embedded in our law, our policy, our practices. And what it's done is really licensed atrocity. We start with the social construct of race as a historical reality that created change agents. We can find examples of systemic racism everywhere we look for them, in education, in health, in housing, Everywhere there's data disaggregated by race, we've been able to measure systemic racism. Doctors who are overwhelmed with too many patients default to anti-black norms. Teachers assume less from their black students. So we see that anti-black racism and systemic racism operates with a common set of mindsets and norms despite national borders and cultural differences. We created a holistic intervention around race that not just allowed the exploitation of the labor of people of African descent, but also their intellectual property, their families, their children, and their futures. And in fact, in order to normalize this atrocity and to gain license to continue this exploitation, it was important for people of African descent to be defined as other. Even as we have declared things like enslavement illegal, we continue to struggle with the legacy mindsets, norms, and expectations of systemic racism globally. We have a culture of impunity where acts of racism and acts of systemic racism are often not uh, subject to accountability or subject to even uh, course correction. So part of the uh, reversing of a culture of denial needs to start with acknowledgement. It needs to start with a commitment to accountability. It needs to start with an understanding of the right to reparations, which is, in, which is an internationally recognized human right. When we're talking about transformative change, we're talking about disrupting a system that has defined our modern global economy, that has defined our modern transnational relationships. It's hard to understand how we could move things forward without serious, complex international commitments to really ensuring education reflects rather than erases the realities of people of African descent.